I have a treat today. This is Monopoly Socialism, and it says right up here, adult. And there's a reason for that. This is five reasons why you should not let kids play Monopoly Socialism. Hi, I'm Craig, and welcome to Market Power, where we look at the power of markets and economics to shape our world. And once you understand that power, you're gonna understand the consequences of the choices we make, which will help you make meaningful change in your community and in your personal life, and maybe even in board games. I had to get Monopoly Socialism. There was a big kerfuffle about it recently where uh, a professor on Twitter tweeted out about how terrible this game was, and as soon as I saw that, I jumped online and bought that game because I knew I had to have it, I had to try it out. And so I played it with my kids for the first time. It was on Sunday, we just, after church, like to spend some time together as a family. And so we got together and played Monopoly Socialism and it was a mistake. And there are five reasons for that, which I'm gonna go through in this video. I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. First, they won't understand what the pieces are. The pieces here have a very nice, uh, 2008 Cuba vintage to them where you get to see what kind of technology was around at the cutting edge of socialism and yet my kids had no idea what these things were. What's this dad? What is this? <laughs> what is this dad? That's a phone. A phone? Second, they keep using the money from the community pot. This community pot is supposed to enrich everybody here and yet they keep grabbing it for themselves. Just like in Monopoly, there are properties that you can buy. In this version, they're called projects. But in this version, you don't start off with any money. So how do you buy things? Well, you can pull from a community pool that will cover anything that you're missing. Any expenses you need, the community will help you with those. You wanna buy another property? Mm -hmm. Do you have any money? What are you gonna do? Money! <laughs> do you have any money? Mm. Where are you gonna get the money? <laughs> so this is really interesting in terms of structuring the game because in regular Monopoly, you have your money and you have to make trade-offs between whether you want that property right now or you wanna take chances on spending your money on a future property that might be more valuable. So you have to weigh that in because you have that money. Here, no trade-offs needed. You can just pull from the community pool all you want. And that's what my daughter did. She was racking up projects like crazy because every time she landed on one, she pulled money from that community pool. How do you how do you have money for all these projects? I just take it from here. It was really disappointing to see that my daughter is not a socialist spirit and didn't understand that that money was for the common good and not for her evil self-interests. Third, they won't understand the jokes on the cards or even be offended by them. They just want to know what they get out of that card. They want to know if they get to put their marker on or if they have to get a get out of jail free card. But they don't get all these jokes about like having your favorite podcast be called Crapitalist. So the kids are just gonna keep going on and not even appreciate the art that was put into this game. Fourth, they won't appreciate how lifelike this game is with real socialism. Like how three of us ended up in jail at the same time for presumably doing nothing. Or how you can't even get this game anymore because Hasbro has canceled it. This game became so controversial just in the few days since I bought it that it, you can't even find it on the Hasbro page and it's now being bidded up to incredibly high prices on eBay. Thank goodness those grubby capitalists were put in their place. The fifth reason you should not play this game with kids is that they might actually like it. If you were to go on Amazon and read the reviews, you would see that it should not be played by anyone, let alone kids. And yet, I asked my kids at the end whether they liked it or not. Mm -hmm. Did you like the game? Yeah. Hey, did you like the game? Yeah, it's super fun. Did you like the game? Yeah. Can we play again? So there's my first review of Monopoly Socialism. My goal is to play it with some adults to see how that goes. Before that video comes out, go ahead and check out this video that explains how kids understand principles of economics, even though they've never taken economics classes. Be sure to subscribe, and we will see you next time. Ah!